hi and welcome Simon here and hope you're doing well in this video I'll be replacing the full assembly keyboard on an MSI laptop this model here is MSI PS63 modern or you can take a look at the back of the computer here you should be able to identify as if MS16S1 all right so let's go ahead and get started the first thing you need to have is a Phillips screwdriver we need to remove all the screws here in order to remove the back cover now just kind of fast forward and talk about a keyboard if you have a keyboard like a broken key some of the keys are not uh, pressing down or you can't uh, input the keys then more likely you need to change out the keyboard if you spill any liquid to the keyboard then this video might able to help you uh, to get the full assembly keyboard replaced unfortunately you're not able to just change up one key even if it's the rest of the keys are working and you just want to fix that one key this is not going to work you would have to change out the whole keyboard all right so here we do have a factory seal that little screw right there you actually need to break that factory seal in order, in order to get to that screw okay all right once you have removed all the screws the next step is to pry it open I like to start with the corner and then the entire back cover would just pop right off once you have removed the back cover here you can see the full assembly sorry the uh, internal part of the entire laptop here would be the battery to remove the battery you can just simply slide the connector down so slide it down okay still using the Phillips screwdriver we are going to remove some of the screws here to get the battery removed and the entire battery would just come right off if you're not sure where to buy the battery look out for the model number here it says BTY-M6L here would be the RAM I like to pop it up by just pushing the two side clipper and the RAM would just pop right off here would be your SSD drive the M.2 remove the screw kind of lift it up slightly upwards and then slide it at 45 degree angle you might find it difficult to remove because this thermal pad the thermal pad is like a like a gum it will stick to the motherboard so you got to be very gentle when you lift it up once you have done the process let's go ahead and start disconnecting some of the cables you like to flip open the clipper up and then slide the cable down towards your body okay make sure the clipper is up and open this is for the keyboard lighting looks like the keyboard is on the other side of it here comes the speaker this is the CMOS oh it kind of wow it is inserted on the motherboard so it's fine open up the clipper slide that LCD connector away this is your CPU fan here comes a CPU fan slide it away from your body to that direction here comes the Wi-Fi it looks like the one with the red cable the tag is on the right side is pointing towards the white remove the screws remove the Wi-Fi card I'm gonna remove some of the screws here there are three screws holding down the hinge as you can see the three screws that you need to remove On the right side you have another three screws so 
so unfortunately you would have to remove a lot of stuff including the motherboard in order for you to transfer um, the keyboard so there's one screw here start removing the CPU fan now the screws are not the same so as you remove those screws make sure you uh, know where they belong and put them back together after I'm going to remove the heatsink again the screw do not come off as you are unscrewing and you hear that little click that means you have reached its limit just keep in mind the screw does not come off except the one on the right the one here on the left the screws do not come off the one on the right with the silver screws they do come off and then just remove the heat sink and just pop it right off now here there's another screw this screw is a lot smaller so use a smaller screw it is still a Phillips screwdriver but I'm using the 1.5 Alright, at this point here you can tilt the motherboard towards your body because there's still one connector is being uh, the, the keyboard connector is still being here you need to remove and peel the tape off and then open up the clipper and slide the flex cable up remember the flex cable is the opposite direction when they we, we install all right, this is the full motherboard. Open up the hinge. I'm just pushing it up using my fingernail and I slide the entire keyboard out. All right, so here comes the keyboard. Oops, excuse me, sorry about that. The entire keyboard will just pop right off. Now the keyboard replacement as you can see is being punched down by the manufacturer meaning that there's no screw holding down the keyboard and you can just remove the keyboard or replace just one of the key. You would have to change out the full assembly like this. Okay, that's how you can do it and then now you just have to do the reverse process and reinstall everything back together. Alright, I hope this video is helpful. Please smash the like button if you find this video is helpful. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. I appreciate you for, for subscribing the channel and liking the channel as well. I hope you all the best. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.